Man fan, a symbol. Hey, man fam, we are gonna have the most marvelous day here at Avengers Campus at Disney California Adventure featuring the brand new Rogers the Musical. Big thanks to Disney for inviting us out for a sneak peek, but now everybody can see it. I'm so excited to see it this afternoon. And outside of that, we are going to do everything possible we can here in Avengers Campus. We're gonna eat some super eats. We're gonna meet some super people. We're gonna see some super shows. We're gonna ride some super rides. It's gonna be super. So grab your magical hammers and or shields, your magical weaponry of choice, and let's get to it. We just got here and the day is already off to a marvelous start. And that's a joke because we just saw Captain Marvel. This or one of these, Ooh. one of these. Oh, <laughs> we have so many options. It yep. makes more sense now. Yes. It was, it was a good joke already, but it was a better joke when you know we met Captain Marvel. Our goal today was to meet at least 10 different supers. Already checked off one, and now we are waiting for our breakfast to be ready at Pim Test Kitchen. Alan, Alan, look, your favorite's up there. You love Doctor Strange so much. Let's tell him. <laughs> oh my God. Hi, Doctor Strange. You're his favorite. He looks thrilled to know that. <laughs> yeah, he does. He's he looks so excited. so excited. I know you love Doctor Strange. Absolutely. We love math. So much. We love math and magic. Uh, and we do have to see that show later. Yeah, we do. We're headed into Pim Test Kitchen. This is the main quick service restaurant inside Avengers Campus. But a fun Easter egg to look for is that here and across the way outside of the bar are Hope and Scott Lang's phones. One, you can see that they are powered by Vistacore, which is the company that Ant-Man gets in trouble for robbing at the beginning of Ant-Man, that's why he's in jail. And two, he gets text messages from different characters. So he just got one from Peter Quill, he'll get one from Tony Stark. Fun little detail to look for, but for now we need breakfast. Welcome inside Pim Test Kitchen. The shtick here, the gimmick here is that we are part of Pim Particles, which as you may remember from the Ant-Man movies, make things larger or smaller. So you can watch these pretzels, for example. They'll go in regular size and they come out comically large or comically small. That's the thing with some of the food here as well. You can actually buy that comically large pretzel. You can buy a chicken sandwich where the chicken is huge, the bun is too small, but it's really fun. Uh, we're here for breakfast though, because they've changed the breakfast menu since I did breakfast when it first opened. And Alan, you've never done breakfast here. so I haven't, and I'm very excited for it. The food has arrived. We got the calculated breakfast, which equals E times two plus in parentheses B plus P, close parentheses divided by T, which is just the equation for the meal that we're having. Oh, because eggs times two, bacon toast, I get it. Uh -huh. Also beer cheese, because pro tip, order a side of beer cheese with these tater tots, you will thank me later. Absolutely. We also got the kids-sized, ever-expanding Cinepim toast with smoked bacon and maple syrup, which is why it comes with, hidden away here, a clementine and a mini bottle of water. Also, the bacon is turkey bacon. With the adults meal, it's regular bacon, but kids love turkeys. That's scientifically proven, so they get turkey bacon. Mm-hmm. And possibly most importantly, we have the standard cold brew and the nitro cold brew. I find it weird you didn't get yourself a coffee. Uh-huh. Good. This might be sacrilege, but before tasting, I am gonna put hot sauce on my eggs because... That's the good hot sauce. So it is. You got to. Tapatillo. All right, let's go with a Let's go with a full bite here. Let's get it some eggs. It's hot. I just lost the tot. The tot oh has been gosh. lost to beer cheese. It's all right. We can. It's a rescue mission. We can save it. The beer cheese is a game changer. It's eggs, like the best beer cheese I've ever had. That's so good. The eggs actually cook pretty darn well. Normally, when you get theme park eggs, they're aggressively average or pretty terrible. These are above average, so it's a win. The tater tots also have some nice seasoning on them. So they're not just plain, plus the beer cheese, excellent. Bacon, delightful. And this little mini bebe fried egg is hilarious. Oh, you can very have it. Drippy. Don't waste all that goop. I wouldn't dream of wasting the goop. Solid meal, big fan. And the thing I enjoy the most is this is a reasonable portion size for breakfast, at least for me. This is like, I'm not gonna be super bloated or feeling really heavy when I go back into the park after eating this and that's a big win because it's early and we can't have that. You gotta do this all day. Where's my shield?
Why do I even make hotel coffee? It's not good. It's very tasty. I love the cold brew. They always have some kind of fancy seasonal cold brew here. Right now it's a cookies and cream cold brew. That's a little much for me. I've tried some of them before. They're really fun if you like sweet coffee, but as someone that doesn't, their cold brew and their nitro cold brew are very, very good. All right, and I'm not normally a sweet breakfast girly, but we're trying a little of everything today. So this is the ever-expanding French toast. I like that it's colorful. Huh. I wonder if that's a flavor. No. No? Good though. It's pretty standard French toast, although I do like that it's kind of crispy on the outside. It almost reminds me of a coffee cake with some of this streusel. Good syrup. Who doesn't want syrup? Let's try a little turkey bacon. Got to dip that in the syrup, too. I know. Yeah. Standard turkey bacon. The regular bacon is definitely better because it's smoky. I would always pick the savory breakfast over the sweet breakfast, but if you are a sweet breakfast person, this is very good French toast. I think the kids portion, which they have a kids portion of the egg meal too, is a good way to have a nice light breakfast because you got a lot of other food to try. Now, I've eaten at Pim Test Kitchen for lunch and dinner many, many times as well. I enjoy that food, but we're gonna be eating some other things. If you do come for lunch or dinner, I love the giant pretzel. They usually use some kind of themed pretzel as well where it will be topped with different things. The chicken sandwich is good. And uh, the Pim Mini is quite nice. We had that on our last trip with my family. So I think Pim Test Kitchen is a win. The nitro cold brew is so smooth, you don't need anything in it. It's got this nice layer of foam on the top, which adds a little bit of levity to the, the dense coffee, but it is so good. I drink many, many of these every time I'm in California Adventure. A couple more fun details to look for while you're in here. These tags on either side of the restaurant have dates on them. Those are the birthdays of Paul Rudd and Evangeline Lilly, who play Ant-Man and the Wasp. Also here inside the Coke Freestyle machines, you can get Pingo Dose, which is the soda in Incredible Hulk, everyone's favorite Marvel movie that ultimately Stan Lee ends up drinking uh, the cursed one that has Hulk's blood in it. It's like a vanilla soda Mountain Dew flavor. It's, it's interesting. And then last but not least right in here, you've got these gigantic ketchup and mustard bottles. They are from Bountiful Valley Farm. That's because when Disney California Adventure opened, it had a farm that you could go to because the original park idea was to be all the highlights of California. And one of those highlights is a dairy farm. And that's why it's got established 2001 because that's when the park originally opened. We are currently in queue for the Thors. Now, one thing about Avengers Campus is characters will just come out at random times and you never really know where they'll be. So right now it's uh, it's quite a few people. It's kind of a treasure trove. Yeah, Black Widow's over there. Cap is over there. I saw Shang-Chi walk by. Uh, I saw the Dora Milaje walk by, I mean, Iron Man. Most importantly, we saw Doctor Strange already, which Well, I know. I we saw your favorite, so now we gotta find Shang-Chi so we see my favorite. Hello, Thor. Nice to meet you. Thor, <laughs> nice, nice to meet, meet you. you. Yeah, How yeah. are you? Yeah. Hello. <laughs> You're working with Steve? Trying to work with Steve on some things, you know. Yes, everybody. All the captains, all the Thors. Not Captain Star Lord. No? Because I'm the captain. Yeah, you're the captain. Yeah, Whenever I'm on the ship, I'm the captain. Right. Yeah. And then it's Rocket. Then it's Rocket. <laughs> oh, three in the Rockets. The Rabbit's close. Star Lord. Gamora's in there somewhere. Gamora's before. And then maybe Mantis. Drax. Below Star Lord. Yeah. I Mantis trust below. Peter more than Mantis. Where do you Drax. put Cosmo the space dog? Oh, uh, Tom. He's, he's like my... Yeah. Right below me. Okay, that makes sense. Um, could you guys teach me how to pose oh, like a yeah. like a Thor? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Take it away, Jane. Oh. Everything I taught you. Um, so I always like to keep one hand up. This is going to defend you if anything comes flying at you. Yeah, but sure. This one's ready, and then you pull this one back so that you can throw, throw my <clears throat> throw my hammer. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Nice. Yes. And also down. Okay. Down. There you go. Beautiful. The Eternals are up there. So cool. Another one. Rob, Rob Stark Eternal walked away. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Stark Eternal? That's his name. The, is it? Is that his official call sign? Did anyone care about this movie? No, I don't need to learn their names. Wow. Fastos, I know Fastos though. Hey, they He's cared about one. it. He was my favorite one. Fastos was cool. We like yeah. Fastos. King goes up there. King goes up there? Oh wait, he was my favorite. Now I feel bad for not knowing the girl's name. Hold on. All right. Girl Eternals. You can be graced by like the Eternals Celeste, while we... Or, it like starts with... Cersei! Oh, so close. Cersei. Since you've got Rob Stark, just think like Cersei Lannister. Bro. Oh my god, and Jon Snow's in that movie. It's basically Game of Thrones. Yep. Do you think if we took a selfie with all three of them, that counts in our character body count? I would say yes. Okay, let's do it. Character body count? 
Next thing to check off is the Avengers Assemble show, which is a stunt fighting show up here below the Quinjet. It stars usually Black Widow and either Captain America or Black Panther. I love it because I love stunt fighting. Yeah, Max it, it feels differently. It's truly some incredible stunt fighting. Max feels differently than I do, but hey, it's on the list, so here we go. Intrusion alert, level two. Move along. You don't look like recruits. Who sent you? An old friend. Incoming call from Mr. Stark. Friday, don't put him through. Yeah, she put me through. Hi, Dad. Everything okay? You need help? I don't need help! I won't ask a second time. Well, Alan got some quality time in the Sanctum. Yeah, they still won't let me in the Sorcerer door, though. That's disappointing. One day you'll be a real Sorcerer. You think? Yep. Um, and saw the Avengers Assemble show, which I like because I like cheesy stunt fighting. It was something. No, no, no. It was something else. That was uh, something super. It was a super stunt show. That's some alliteration for you. I don't know that you need a car time out of your day to see it, but it's nice to, that these little small shows happen while you're in Avengers Campus. You can see it from Pim. You can grab a drink and kind of just watch it while you're walking around. And I love seeing Black Panther. Hopefully we'll get to see him closer too. Also, Black Widow. Great to see her up there as well. I think and Taskmaster. It's yeah. kind of a fun villain to use. It also breathes life into the land, I think, in ways that I mean, you've got a bunch, you've got a character Palooza really happening at least this morning. Yeah. Uh, but that show adds some life to this land, and I love that it exists as a set piece. This land is full of little mini shows like that, and we're actually off to see the second one right now. Spider Man. I don't know why that's my Spider Man. Is that the Here's noise? my Spider Man. That's my Spider-Man. Pretty good, I think. No, Pretty yeah, good. that's Pretty spot good. on, spot on. Yeah. Yeah, 11 out of 10. We are headed now to see the amazing Spider-Man, which is the Stunt Tronic show. It is absolutely incredible. I mean, the front half of this features some delightful tumbling from our friend, the amazing Spider-Man. Just spider stuff. Just spider stuff, followed by the most amazing robot that yeah. I think exists that I've seen in a Disney park. I didn't tell my nephews that it was a robot and they're fully convinced it's Spider-Man. That's how good it is. It's just bananas. So I'm excited as we get to see this Stuntronic fly high above Web Enterprises. Quick Easter egg though on the way. Oh yeah. For starters, there's Jarvis's parking spot. The campus is supposed to be part Tony Stark's dad when he was here and then part Ancient Sanctum. And there's, that's the multiverse is here, which is why you can have Cap and Cap kind of situation. But here's another fun Easter egg. This tree is way bigger than the other trees. Big tree. Around it. And if you look at that drain pipe right there, it says caution gamma radiation, which is what makes the Hulk big. So clearly the gamma radiation hit the tree and that's why it's a big tree. Another fun little Easter egg is this graffiti here on the edge of web. Miles and not to Miles Morales and the Spider-Verse. Looks like he drew this graffiti, which is very impressive. It is. I love Miles' representation. Miles Morales is a great Spider-Man. I have to agree. Although I think Tom Holland is the best Spider-Man. Peter Parker? I think Tom Holland is my favorite of the Spider-Mans. Oh, I see, I see. It's, it's definitely not Tobey Maguire. Oh, <laughs> poor Tobey. I watched those movies when I was younger, and I thought all Marvel movies would be stupid from then on out, because I watched those movies. And I'm happy you've been pleasantly proven wrong. I have. We added some humor, we added some chemistry between the romantic leads, we added strong female characters, we added quippiness, and uh, now I'm a big MCU fan. Hey everyone, welcome to Avengers Campus. Okay, it's time to see what this suit can do. Stepped on some actual 
your name. It's hard to see what this you can do. I meant the data. Yeah, I knew that. So the bad news. We were waiting out here for the Dora Milaje show, and unfortunately it's been canceled for the day. Here are some clips from previous times seeing it. It's one of my favorite things because I love the Dora Milaje. But the good news, we did run into Captain America Sam Wilson edition, which was very exciting. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah. The best news is we met Doctor Strange in his sanctum. Wow. Somewhat tarnished by the fact that I was wearing the wrong Steve shirt. Captain America? Well, I mean, he did choose his shirt, but that's alright. They probably saw it out of mind. Honestly, that's true. It's been yes. hard to find it. So, man, like, present something that we should be forward with you. I hope you could forgive yourself. I can't. Okay, but you are wearing the right Steve shirt for where we're headed to check in. Right, right. Yeah, the reason we're here. Yeah. Yeah. Rogers the music. Exactly. I'll tell myself that. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm excited. Hi, Koye. <laughs> On our walk to check in for Rogers the Musical, we did see uh, the Dora Milaje and T'Challa. Taking a little lap patrol in the premises, very cool. If there's any hero I trust to keep us safe, it would be that group of heroes. I have to agree with that. I, I have full confidence in the Warriors of Wakanda. I mean, listen, as much as I stand Doctor Strange, if I'm asking for a hero to come and save the day, it's probably gonna be the Dora Milaje. I have to agree. No, no arguments here. Now, a couple things to know about Rogers the Musical. Again, we are going to a media preview of it. However, it officially opened on June 30th, and it's going to run through August 31st. And it's going to use a virtual queue system in the Disneyland app to get seats for the show in the Hyperion Theater. The virtual queue is free, uh, and you can join it at 10.30 and 2 p.m. My prediction is the spots are going to fill up very, very quickly. So much like getting uh, those coveted early 7 a.m. lightning lanes at Disney World or the World of Color virtual queue here, you're going to want to use a world clock to count down right to that time and join the virtual queue. If you'd like to guarantee you have a spot, you can purchase the premium viewing experience. It's $29 a person and available to purchase at Studio Catering Company, a uh, food and beverage location right here in Hollywood land. That allows you first access to the theater, reserved seating, a souvenir popcorn bucket with the red, white, and blue kettle corn in it, and a beverage. Oh, and you also get uh, priority access to a photo opportunity with a Disneyland photo pass photographer for some of the magic shots. So I think that's going to sell out very quickly as well. That is a purchase day of situation, but that would be a great way to guarantee you get a spot. Got all checked in for the event. And now Disney set it up so we can check out the specialty merchandise that's coming out, as well as the food, which by the time you see this video is available for anyone to get. Yeah, already, so here we have our kettle corn. And this one is available at the Hyperion Q cart. Behind it, the Captain Everything dog. Uh, also available at the cart, right over here, we have the shawarm pizza. It's amazing. <laughs> it's done all the flavors and then just they marry together so beautifully. In front of it, we have the red, white, and blue shake. So the bottom is going to be a cherry slush. The middle is going to be that vanilla shake. And then on top is the blue raspberry slush. Oh! Yeah, yeah that one's awesome. Interesting. Next to that guy, we got the pastrami dog. So we took the original hot dog. We topped it off with pastrami, all the good stuff, it's amazing. <laughs> Behind it, the Patriotic Punch. That one is available here at the Hollywood Lounge. And then also at the Hollywood Lounge, we have the Blue Cherry Hard Tea with vodka, gin, rum, tequila. Woo! <laughs> yeah, wow. A, Can't do ooh. that all day. <laughs> okay, woo! <laughs> Behind it, we have our regular classic hot dog. And then one of the stars of the show. They're all stars, but the like an apple pie pizza. And then we have our blue cotton candy behind that guy. And then our popcorn bucket, the Rogers the Musical. Oh, popcorn. yum. Yeah. Thank you. Thank it you all so looks much. great. Thank you. You guys have a good one.
You as well. Ooh, and we get to try the shawarmiza, which is sausage, pepperoni, mozzarella, pepperoncini, the garlic parmesan wrap, and a marinara dipping sauce. Don't mind if I do. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. This was the eat I was most excited about when the Rogers food came out. Why that is Disney delightful. Get this? Oh. It tastes like pizza. It's actually spicy because of the pepperoncinis. Lots and lots of cheese. I love the garlic naan. This all just comes together really, really beautifully. Also, the snap on that sausage. Oh, wow. Mm hmm. Big fan. This is available at the two shawarma carts for now. Fantastic. This is a top tier snack in a park already full of top tier snacks. I don't know what I'd recommend more, this one or the regular shawarma. Oh, don't make me choose. Get both. Rapid fire merch. Now here's just the exclusive merch. You can already purchase things like the shield and the ears. I'm wearing those right now, but exclusive Rogers merch. We've got a Rogers the musical shirt, sign, magnet, and ornament. Okay, took a bunch of pictures with the Rogers photo op, picked up some popcorn. I believe it's the red, wine, blue kettle corn. Ooh. And now we're headed into the theater, the Hyperion Theater for Rogers the Musical. Now, if you're not sure what Rogers the Musical is, it first appeared in the Disney Plus series Hawkeye. This all takes place after Steve Cap gives away his shield and goes to live a beautiful life with Peggy. They decide to make a musical of the happenings of Avengers Infinity War and Endgame. So this is that musical. It's very meta. It is, like, I'm just so happy that Disney leaned into this. It's so cool to see, and I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled. I can't wait to see it in full, but like from what we've seen on like the previews on Instagram and socials. It looks uh, delightfully cheesy. And it's really funny in the series Hawkeye, because of course, Hawkeye goes to the show and he's just shaking his head like, that's not what happened. This is so <laughs> over-dramatized. This is so ridiculous. Uh, but I think the show's gonna be very, very popular and I'm really excited to see it. Whatever happens, promise me one thing, that you will stay as you are, not a perfect soldier, but a good man. Ah! We shut it down! No! I can do this! You might want to ask, when am I? <laughs> Woo! Yeah! And I'm sure you'll get, I'm fine, I'm hoping it's fine, it's close, it's kind of touch and close, and Thor's speech is kind of odd, did I mention he's a god? So we're the hero till the end. That's the thing about endings, Stephen. They can be rewritten. Well, we just saw Rogers the Musical, and it was amazing. Dare I say, super. All right, so let's talk about it. First of all, I think that if you are not a big fan of the Avengers, specifically Captain Steve Rogers' story, you might be a little lost. They essentially tell all of Steve's story from Captain America, the first Avenger, through Endgame in 30 minutes in song. And it's incredibly fast-paced, with a lot of scene transitions that if you're not that familiar, I, you're probably gonna need a little bit of a context. I imagine you'd be a little confused. That said, as fans of both Marvel and musical theater, I loved it. It was just so interesting and very meta in some places, narrated by the Starkettes, who they themselves are a deep cut from the MCU anyway. And what they did was they added a lot of silliness, which is fun for this franchise that is rooted in humor. Starting all the way from what I said earlier, I didn't like the first Spider-Man because it wasn't funny, it wasn't quippy. I love to see that this is where the MCU is now, and I love to see that this is what's happening in the Disney parks. 
partnering with the team over at Marvel. It's just so well done. Okay, I've got to know, I've got to know. Yes. Aside from Save the City, what was your favorite number? Well, first of all, Save the City is the number that you see in Hawkeye. It's the one with all of the Avengers, Iron Man, Thor, Black Widow, Hawkeye, etc. And it looks just like it did in Hawkeye. Like, it feels like you are watching the TV show live in front of you. So that number is awesome. Also, I just want to shout out the costumes in this are amazing. I had trouble keeping my eyes off of like Thor and Loki who are in this. It was just so good. Uh, but besides that song, which I think is unabashedly the, like the best, that's the big number. Yeah. Um, that's the I Can Do This All Day number. My favorite was probably a song that surprised me. It was called End of the Line and it was old Steve and current Steve singing to each other about how they've done all these incredible things, but ultimately at the end of the line, who's gonna be there for you? And that's what leads him to go back uh, for Peggy Carter. And it was this very imagined storyline that we don't see on screen anywhere, but it was really beautiful and it actually made me cry. <laughs> It was very emotional, I fully agree. I think for me, my favorite song had to be Nick Fury's song. Oh, That's right, sure. Nick Fury sings. Beautiful. And not only does he catch Cap up on what has happened over the past 70 years, he also introduces the Avengers in what is probably one of the funniest like laugh out loud sequences throughout the entire show. A great song full of a bunch of Easter eggs. Speaking of, of course, it's a Marvel musical. There's gonna be Easter eggs. I'm sure there are many that we didn't see because I think you'd have to go back again and again to pick up all of the ones in the lyrics and the billboards. But a couple that I noticed, for starters, you hear an old-timey radio and it does an advertisement for Elias & Co., which is the merchandise shop on Buena Vista Street right when you walk into the park, which is an Easter egg of itself because Elias is uh, Walt Disney's father's name and his middle name. I personally love the nod to Stan Lee in the billboards. So when Cap sort of comes out of his cryo sleep and Nick Fury is introducing to what has happened over the last 70 years. You have flashing billboards, and from what I could catch, I saw two. One's an Easter egg, and that's Stan, a nod to Stan Lee, and the other looked like League of Legends? Maybe it's an Easter egg for Max. Maybe. <laughs> uh, I think if you were to look at all of the billboards in Times Square, they would be a lot of Easter eggs, but in that quick paced number, I definitely paid attention to Stan Lee's. I also liked that in the Save the City number, the business that they pull on set is Shwarma Palace. <laughs> yeah. uh, there's a bunch of lyrical Easter eggs, like Cap says something, life can change in a snap, yep. which is of course a Thanos reference. I think there's a, a line somewhere that, where they reference like the raccoon in the tree. Oh yes, when Nick Fury's trying to list all of the different Avengers, he's like, this is everybody, but this isn't it, and he tries to list them all, and it, he's like, there's a... Um, there's a guy from Wakanda, there's a witch from Sokovia, and he just like rattles off, and it's fun to try and keep up to figure out how many you can realize he's talking about so quickly. All that to say, it is just an incredibly well-executed show, especially for the time constraints that they have, which are, it's 30 minutes, and I mean, it is a tight timeline, so I, I just, I'm very impressed. I loved it. We're gonna come back tomorrow to shoot another video that you'll be able to see at some point and try some of the food in full scale, but Huge thank you to Disney for inviting us out. This is our first Disneyland event, so this was super, super cool. And if you're a Marvel fan, you need to go see this musical. 100%. And last, but certainly not least, the cast was phenomenal. The singing talent, the dancing talent. Honestly, some of the vocals were on par with stuff I've seen on Broadway, so huge kudos to the cast. And let's also shout out all the folks who are working behind the scenes, like production staff, anybody who built and worked on those wonderful sets, the choreography, it was stunning. And we even got the chance to hear from some of the creatives behind the show in a little Q&A moment after the show. So here's a few of those highlights. Even after a catastrophic moment when they're together, our superheroes have a connection or a raised eyebrow. And it just speaks to the humanity involved next to their superpowers too. But also it's musical comedy and it's musical theater. And so we're kind of amping that up, just turning up the dial a little bit and heightening it, you know, for um, even, a, you know, the doctor with Erskine to, you, you kind of play it a little, a little musical comedy and you're, because it's joyous and it's fun. So it's easy because the collaboration is so good and because, because the, the cinematic universe can move in so many different ways, this doesn't seem like an outlier. Right? Like, it's like, that's amazing. What is that? That's amazing. I want that. Yeah. Give it to me now. Huh. <sighs> okay. Well, after that, we still have to finish our most marvelous day. So what do you think we do next? Well, we haven't ridden either of the rides yet. There are more characters to be seen. We could go see Doctor Strange's show. As much as I love math magic. Food? Oh, shawarma. Yes. 
The Shawarma Palace cart here is, of course, a nod and reference to the restaurant the Avengers all ate at in silence after the first Avengers film, after the incursion in New York. One that Tony Stark identified after he crash landed next to it during the massive fight in the big city. You ever tried shawarma? In the morning, Shawarma Palace has a breakfast shawarma, but throughout the day you can get New York's Tastiest or the vegetarian version of that, the Impossible Victory Falafel. And starting tomorrow, as of filming this video, is when you'll be able to pick up the shawarmitsa. As a pro tip as well, there's two different shawarma carts. There's this one here, kind of in the main part of Avengers Campus. There's also one over by the Hyperion Theater. That one you can mobile order at, which is a good pro tip if it's busy. Oh my, it's Scarlet oh my Witch. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh, we've lost Molly. <laughs> All right, well, that was a tale of shawarma interrupted, but how cool was that? <laughs> Scarlet Witch, who I've never seen, just came out. She she was leaving, so we didn't get to like chat too long, but I'm putting it on the meet and greet list because that was awesome. We absolutely put that on the list. She's By the way, so we're over cool. 10 now. We're over 10. We're at 10. Oh, we're at 10? We're at 10, but T'Challa's right there, and that could put us at 11. Shawarma has been acquired. There were no tables available, so you know what time it is. It's trash can table time. It's trash can table time. Ba -dum -ba -dum. Avengers edition. The New York's tastiest shawarma is a warm pita, and it's filled with this delicious spiced chicken um, and a garlic aioli in there. And then it comes with this tzatziki style sauce to dip with it. It is phenomenal. It's one of my favorite foods here in California Adventure. Very excited right now. Mm. The chicken actually has a little bit of heat to it. Shawarma is a Middle Eastern dish, so if you've had other food in that genre, that's what it's gonna taste like. You're gonna have a lot of uh, paprika, a little bit of cumin, garlic. It's quite, quite delicious. And then my favorite part is the tzatziki sauce that you put on top. It's got garlic, it's got cucumber in there. It's really refreshing. This is fantastic. Mm, I understand why Tony Stark wanted to eat this after saving the world. Hello, T'Challa, how are you? Thank you. I trust you know the Royals. I do. Yes. Okay. Right hand on top. Okay. Can we do it together? Perfect. Thank you, King T'Challa. Molly, it's Loki. So dreamy. Ah, uh, is it the world domination that does it for you, or? It's the Slytherin energy. I see. Hi, Loki. Ah, uh, Natasha. Hi, Nat. I love her. She's I think awesome. she doesn't get enough credit, and neither does Hawkeye, because they are literally just humans keeping up with super soldiers and actual gods. It's incredible. They are very, very powerful. No, I, I don't agree. think they get enough shout outs for yeah, that. Nobody talks about it enough. I They're agree. all just like, oh, I love Thor, I love Captain America. Well, you know? You're talking about a crusade of, of championing. Real humans. The everyman. But nevertheless, we are on to Web Slingers, a Spider-Man adventure. This is a shooter style attraction. Anyone can ride this one. It is in 3D and you are gonna team up with Spider-Man as the spider bots have taken over Avengers Campus. It is super, super fun. You slang those webs like Spider-Man. It's my favorite of the shooter style attractions uh, besides Mario Kart, but we're not talking about that right now. We're gonna talk about Peter Parker. A couple of Easter eggs to look for when you are in the pre-show of Web Slingers. For starters, look in the Crane Game Machine and you will see some familiar characters. My favorite thing in the Crane Game though is a pair of bug eyes from It's Tough to Be a Bug because this used to be a bug's land. Also, you will see a can of dust off on one of the desks and it, the brand is In a Snap. Huh. Up on the shelves, you will also see a Lego Death Star. And if you're a fan of the Tom Holland Spider-Man movies, you may know that he and Ned build that together. So that's a cute one to look for too. There's also a bumper sticker for Lucky Dog Pizza with the dog that's winking, which is a reference to Hawkeye and the one-eyed pizza dog. As you can imagine, there are tons and tons of Easter eggs all throughout Avengers Campus. I talked about more of them in this ride specifically in my secrets video that I did here at California Adventure, if you wanna check that out. Are you ready? I'm ready to try my best. That's such a Steve Rogers answer. It's gonna be great. We will have a good time. We will defeat the spider box. Some of us will see our webs better than others. It'll be good. But everyone's gonna have fun. It'll be a blast. And the real prize is the webs we make along the way. I think that's the phrase, something like that.
takeaway from that Web Slingers experience is that it wasn't my worst outing. I thought you did pretty good. You certainly wasn't the best in the vehicle. I was me. Yes. When Max doesn't play, I can succeed. I mean, you still succeed when Max plays. Max just beats you. It's not succeeding. Succeeding is winning. That's a weirdly unhealthy mentality. But regardless, you won that vehicle. I sure did. And now, I think it's time for a short respite, a bit of luxuriating here within the campus. Would you like to go to Pim's tasting lab and grab a beverage? Would I? Would you? Y yes, absolutely. Oh, okay. yeah, that was a question with the question thing. I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, of course I do. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Well, that's what we're doing. Okay. Let me mobile order. Well, I want to see who's right here. Oh, okay. But then I do. Uh, if it's somebody we haven't met yet, you know, I could get distracted. I get distracted easily in Avengers Campus. That is very true. It's Captain Marvel. We already met her. She's great, but... Captain Marvel today has been everywhere. She is holding the campus down. It, like, she's working harder than anybody else. Did Nick Fury call in a favor? He must have, because she's been on the roof. She's been everywhere. She's she's Roy Kent. She's here, she's there. She's every freaking where. where. Captain, Captain. Carol, Carol. That's her song. You could also say Carol Danvers. Both her first and her last name are two Carol syllables. Carol Danvers. She's there. She's there. She's everywhere. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I like it. Nailed it. This and freedom oh, emanating. Oh, thank you. You're my favorite. <laughs> yes. Don't let my outfit fool no, you. No, that's okay. I'll no, take I it. promise. I just you really are. I haven't really signed off on anything, so. Okay, it's, it's I, I understand. Can you show me the pose like uh, you? Yeah, okay. Here. Yeah. White stance. Okay. Palm to the front. Okay. And palm right next to your hand. Okay. Stellar. Pim Tasting Lab is the bar attached to Pim Test Kitchen where you can get a variety of craft beers as well as cocktails, a couple little snacky items. Here are the little treats that we have picked up. I strayed from my normal beer to try the R&D Martini, which is an espresso martini with cereal infused milk, dark chocolate espresso beans, and cereal crumbs. And I got the Elysian Brewing Space Dust, which is an IPA from Seattle, Washington. Very excited, it's an old standby. Cheers. I'll go while you're drinking that. Crisp, Whoa. light, citrusy, refreshing, very, very good. I was very nervous about this espresso martini because you probably know I don't like sweet drinks, but I love coffee. And espresso martinis tend to get too sweet, but I love them when they're done right. And I thought for sure one made at a, a themed bar out of a themed cup with cereal bits on it would be too sweet. It's definitely not. You can absolutely taste the vodka in that. You can taste the espresso flavor. Fun little cereal milk edition. Big fan, five stars. I think Nick Fury's here. Here we gotta go. At all times, you must be ready. At all times, you must be ready. So with that in mind, let's work on some self-defense. So misfits, it's all about planning, communication, listening to and talking to each other, observation. A good spy notices everything. Where are you going? <laughs> and persuasion. Getting people to do what you want. Know this, you are now part of a bigger universe. So keep up the good work, and always remember, I've got my eye <laughs> All right, well, if there was anybody who could and should interrupt our luxuriating, it's Nick Fury. Also, he talks about being an espionage expert and being a spy. We are already spies. Listen, we went to Spyscape. We have a very clear idea of the work we do. Special ops here, and what was yours again? I was a hacker. That sounds about right. So yeah, Right. Spyscape, for the record, is a really cool interactive spy-themed museum in New York City. We went there in a New York City video we did. Check it out. And if you're in New York, go there. It's cool. Oh, yeah. It's a ton of fun. <laughs> I think those roles both suit us perfectly. Yes, I'm so tech-savvy. Uh -huh. Math is your strong suit. Yeah. We learned about the six keys of espionage. From Mr. Fury. Absolutely. It was fun. It was a really cool time. A little bit of audience participation, and it's just good to see Nick Fury out in the parks. I love how Disneyland is so quick with the characters. Like, his show comes out on Disney Plus, bang, the character's here at Avengers Campus. It's awesome. Also, like, he's mentioning canon events. He's going to meet... Kamala Ms. Khan. Kamala Khan, yeah. Yeah, he said, I gotta go meet some girl in New Jersey, which nerds will know is Kamala Khan from Miss Marvel. 
We're nerds. That's us. Yeah. But now we've walked over by Mission Breakout for a little dance party with some guardians. Dance off, bro. Me and you. Well, unfortunately, there was an unrelated incident that prevented the guardians from coming out to their dance party. But we're going to make some lemonade out of lemons and go get a treat from Terran Treats. I hope the current swirly churro is better than the original swirly churro because when Max and I ate that, it was not good. But, swirly churro. Yeah, but I'm hoping the new flavor is good. Huh, let's give it a shot. From Terran Treats, which is a cute little cart outside Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout, we have gotten the Sweet Spiral Ration, which when it debuted was pineapple flavor. It's gone through a variety of flavors, and now it's raspberry? I'm intrigued. It's, I was, it was green when it was pineapple flavor. It's yellow when it's raspberry flavor. Nothing makes any sense. Oh, wow, it's a big chunk. They also have like an orb, like a pastry shoved, stuffed with, um, cream cheese and fruit filling. But oh. We'll try this. Oh. Oh, oh I yeah. Like that. Yeah. No, wait a minute. Just when I thought you couldn't get any lower, you do something like that. And totally redeem yourself. Wow. Mm-hmm. I gotta say, Disneyland people love churros. I don't love churros. It's probably because I'm from Walt Disney World where the churros are frankly not very good. I've asked a lot of people. It has to do with the fact that they make them at the carts here in Disneyland as well as the humidity. It dries them out more in Florida and they end up tasting a little stale most of the time. This is fantastic. It is light, it is fluffy, it's got a hint of raspberry. Just enough of that dusting of sugar on top. Crunchy exterior. Oh, so soft. This is one of the two churros that they had at Terran Treats. The other was called a Cosmic Dust churro. That was a seasonal churro. Yeah. I was into it, except for it had... Skittles, Pop like Rocks. That. I like that. And a blue Curacao syrup. You lost me. There it is. We found the line. But this is really good. I would recommend this. I, inexplicably, as somebody who is self-professed not a churro guy. Seal of approval. Next on the docket, we're gonna ride Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. This is my favorite ride in Disney California Adventure. It is a 40 inch height requirement and it is very similar to Tower of Terror, except for it's themed to Guardians of the Galaxy. Now a fun Easter egg, probably the best Easter egg in there. You will actually see figments. Yes, that figment, as in Epcot figment. There are tons of other Easter eggs to look for in the queue, including Cosmo the Space Dog, Asgardian Armor, there is one of Ultron's robots. So lots of fun in this attraction. Personally, I'd like to hang this photo of the Grandmaster and uh, the Collector in my home. Yeah, I'd, I'd appreciate that. Thank you, I think it would look very lovely. Uh, but basically the plot of this attraction is that the Collector, aka Benicio Del Toro, has collected the Guardians. However, you are gonna help Rocket uh, free the Guardians. And much like Guardians of the Galaxy, Cosmic Rewind, and Epcot, there is a variety of songs you could get, which is part of the fun. Alan, which song do you hope you get? You know what, you vote first. Jackson 5. I'm going Jackson 5. Alan? Free ride? I like free ride. Just got off Guardians. That was an incredible attraction. It's my favorite in this park. Also, no, I can't hear me either. I'm losing <laughs> my voice. I don't know why, but I am. You know, oh, you know, travel. Sure. All the talking. Oh, I do talk for a living. The actually. change in climate, maybe, oh, sure, sure, from sure. humidity to sort of dry air. Yeah, I mean, uh, one of those reasons. It could, you know, the lack of drinking water and only coffee, maybe. Definitely not that. Certainly not that. Uh, we didn't get either song right, though. Correct. It was Elvis' song of burning love. Jackson 5 greater than Elvis, but okay then. 
Uh, but the good news is, as we were walking out, the Guardians of the Galaxy awesome dance-off was happening, which is the short show outside of Guardians with Gamora and Star-Lord, so we got to check that off the list as well. It was really cool. It's always nice to see specifically the Guardians characters in the wild. I wish they had Drax, though. Oh. To my knowledge, Drax has never been to Avengers Campus, That's and so I would cool. love to see Drax. I just, yeah. Wait, Mantis has been out and about? Yeah, Mantis came out for Guardians 3. I've never seen her, but oh. I know she is here. That's really cool. Yeah. I'd love to see her. I'd love to see Drax. The Destroyer. I love him. Do a dance. And Rocket. Yeah, that'd be cool. Well, we, we saw Rocket. Sure. In Guardians. I might just cry dramatically if I saw Rocket, but now. <laughs> it's like, I'm so sorry for what happened to you. It really is very I'm dramatic. I'm so sorry about Teefs. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, I'm sad. oh, no, no. You know what will cheer you up? Are you ready? Doctor Strange. It's the last thing we got to do. Yep, now my tears are for a different reason. <laughs> okay, we have saved the absolute best for last. If that's what you want to call it. Doctor Strange and the Mysteries of the Mystic Arts. It is a fantastic, mathematical show through the many dimensions of the multiverse as Doctor Stephen Strange himself teaches us how to be a sorcerer. Unfortunately for him, he's not the Sorcerer Supreme, which I think is just really... Isn't he though? No, he's not, because he was snapped. So Wong became the Sorcerer Supreme. And as much as I love Wong... Wong greater than Stephen Strange. Okay, first of all, ma'am, I'm gonna need you to stop that right now. Here's the thing. I like Doctor Strange in, a, in an ensemble. I really enjoy him in Infinity War and Endgame as part of the group, but on his own, not my fave. I wow. guess I don't believe enough in the power of math. <laughs> Maybe after this show you will. No, it's not enough. It won't be long before Dormammu realizes what we've done, and that will lead him here to this ancient sanctum. I must turn a spectral energy to create a spectral shield to protect this campus, ourselves, and the astral ring. After me, by the power of the Dashanti. We create this spectral shield. We create the spectral shield. Good. All right, sir, in the pink, we're not trying to open a portal. Yeah. <laughs> by the power of the Dashanti, we create this spectral shield. We're ready. By the power of the Dashanti, we create this spectral shield. You never know. So get used to it. It happens a lot. There is much work to be done in so little time, and the all seeing eye of Agamotto guides you safely. For all my friends. Now. Well, <laughs> I could not think of a better way to end the day. I could. Meeting Captain America, who we're dressed for and have not met yet. But I guess the Doctor Strange magic show works too. Although, I will say, my answer was right. He said I could be a sorcerer one day. How does that make you feel? I'm so happy for you. Thank you. I think that if there was anybody who should be selected, it's you. Thank you, I think so too. You show a lot of natural talent. I love Dr. Strange so much. Yeah, you're really good at math. The Sanctum is my happy place. All jokes aside, the Dr. Strange Mysteries of the Mystic Arts show is... A show you can see. Yeah, it's a, I mean, it's a unique show. The thing is, the magic tricks vary by show. These weren't bad. The time right. that the three of us saw it together were math-based and ridiculous. So... <laughs> <laughs> they were so bad. But these were yeah, actually like, arithmetic. these were like close-up magic, uh, so it's kind of fun. Right. I think it depends entirely on who's hosting your experience. I also think it's fun because another Avenger usually shows up. This time it was America Chavez, but in the past it's been Thor or Gamora. I also think 
waiting for the evening shows is better because a lot of the lights are really cool in there. But you don't need to see the show. Yeah, if you're going to wait for anything, this is not the thing to wait for. Uh, if you've got some time you want to spend maybe on an Avenger that you enjoy. If you're Stephen Strange stan. This is for you. Otherwise, spend your time walking around the rest of the campus, meeting some other characters. Or, you know, leaving this land, which we haven't done this day. But there's Cars Land's right there. And you know what? We haven't stepped foot in it. No. We literally have gone from the entry no. of this park into Avengers Campus and haven't left. And I'm not complaining because it's my favorite land. Oh, it's incredible. But most people don't do that, and therefore you have time better spent in other lands versus the Doctor Strange show. Are we waiting for Cap? Yes. Okay. We'll be back soon. Hello, Steve. Hello. Hello. What is your name? Molly. Molly, good to see you. You Molly. too. Thank you. I've been waiting all day to meet you because I've been wearing this outfit. Well, I'm glad that we can make this work. Thank it's you. Quite yeah. important because you've done a great job putting it all together. Thank you. And, well, would you like to do something strong or cute for the picture? Strong. I want to see how your best pose. I'm okay. going to try and do it. I usually like to do a step forward and then okay. shield out, but I might need your help holding oh, the shield. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm so strong. What an honor. <laughs> all right. Hold it right there. Ready? One, two. Well, as it turns out, we do get to end the day meeting Captain America. I'll admit it, it's the better Steve. Yes, obviously. Yeah. But this was an awesome day spent here in Avengers Campus for meeting a bunch of characters, including Scarlet Witch, which I will not stop talking about for a very long time. Was that the highlight? Well, uh, maybe if we didn't see Rogers the Musical, that would have been the highlight for sure. Yeah, Rogers was the highlight for me, 100%. But uh, I just love this land so much. I think it's so fun as an MCU fan. It's so fun to fully immerse yourself between the rides, the shows, the characters, the eats. It's an incredible, marvelous, you could say, <laughs> way to spend the day. Thank you again to Disneyland and Disney Parks for inviting us for a media preview of Rogers the Musical. If you're a Marvel fan, make sure you see this before it goes away in August. But you know what? Let's all cross our fingers that it stays around longer. The show is incredible. It was so great to see. Thank you so much to the cast and to the crew who made it all possible. It was just fantastic. In the meantime, folks, be sure to like this video, subscribe if you are new, follow us on all of our socials, and join us in the conversation in our Discord. All those links are down below. And until next time, friends, I'm Molly. And I'm Alan. And it has been marvelous. And magical. True. See you next time. Bye. Now go watch the secrets video. Oh yeah, do that, do that. Bye, maybe I'll get a voice tomorrow and that will be my secret power. We can only hope. But we saw Nick Fury. We did. I'm going to buy you so many lozenges. I'm <laughs> sick.